If at any given time you need the user to input something into your script, string ask is the command to use. So the way it goes, if you say string ask, then you give an initial string. So let's just say initial string so we know what we're talking about when we run the command. Initial string. And then you say the title. So let's say title. And let's check this out and what happens here. So if I press this user input, you see where the title is. This is the title for the box and the initial string, which is a string that comes up for the user to write something down on. So if I write something here and say hello and press enter, nothing happens because I'm not doing anything with it. If I want to do something with it, and I will pro you will probably want to do something with it, I can place this inside a variable. So I can say var set. user input which is that variable I just defined it up there it's going to be equal to string ask blah 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 which is what I'm asking from the user and then I can say down here for example note and I'll just output this string and we'll see what happens here so if I reload and I say user input, please write down a string like we did there, your string here. And I say, it's my string. And I press enter, a note will pop up with the user input and the user input is my string. So this can be a string, it can be a number, and this is how you can use user input in your code.